guys <clears throat> uh this is uh we are going to continue from where we stopped so last time we spoke about how um you want to start from um a ppdc in and then move your way up uh, it makes sense to start from your ppdc in um, um especially um if you if you're using um the type of charger that has no indication that your your charger is connected to your device if there is no led for example um so <clears throat> now if you have led on your charger and that will be from uh, say your maxif 2 or even your maxif 3 uh then that 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 is an that's an indication that your ppdc in is present now in a situation where you don't have your ppdc in uh, led on um we did mention that you confirm that um this is not a case of uh, a faulty uh, dc jack this is not a case of um using um your charger not being properly connected or the case of uh, you having a faulty charger then you want to you want to confirm that you have a ppdc in voltage and then i, I we did mention in our previous uh, <clears throat> In our previous class that you have to know when to move on and also um, in in this series we are not going to um, we are not going to um, uh, we, we, we will try as much as we can uh, to simplify it but then again even though we try as much as we can to simplify it up until we finish the series we are going to um, we are going to go through another series where we go in depth because uh, right now, if we are to do that now, we may not be able to do um, justice to, um, I suppose, uh, um, we, it may take us a very long time. And uh, I mean, you guys may not be able to catch up. Or not, not, I mean, you guys may not really be able to make sense of it. Um, so what we will do first is we will try to, to kind of go over it in a way that it doesn't become too uh, confusing. And then uh, I believe by the time we finish the series, and then when we start again at this the, the, when the second phase of it, I believe at that time um, there will be a, um, there will be a better understanding as to uh, what what we say when we say something. Because right now, if we if we if we go too deep, I suppose what will happen is we may just be speaking, but might not really be making sense, especially because um, it just takes time to think. I mean. Uh, it's one thing for you to hear something is another thing for you to understand it especially uh, when you have to apply that in real sense okay <clears throat> that said <clears throat> so we spoke about uh, we, sp we spoke about ppdc in so now let us go back to um let us go back to the page one remember we had uh we we we, we were by power aliases and um, this uh, we say uh we talked about uh, the defined and the undefined uh we are talking about right now um, uh, we are talking about the undefined, which is basically a, a typical example of that uh, will be a no power. Now let us, uh, and we, we got here by going to the power aliases, which is on page, uh, which is uh, 68. So now let's go back to page one. Uh, let's see. So we just need to type one. Okay. So um, power aliases was on page 68. So we just came from page 68 now now uh let's uh, let's uh again let's so uh we 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 were here before uh power aliases and then we were talking about ppdc in voltage now um when it comes to uh when it comes to um and again just 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 uh, uh just uh let me again mention that we are using an 80 dash uh 4924 board which is an a1502 2015 13 inches so this is this is um this approach is um when you have a situation with a no power now the, the approach will will vary from from um from device to device uh, but then uh, this is more like the general approach you know um, specific approaches will will be will be will vary from you know from from the type of issue or the type of uh, state that you find the device okay now let's continue okay so we say that if you're dealing with an undefined issue which which uh, a power no power falls in falls uh, as, a, as a typical example of, a, of, an, of an undefined uh, you want to go to uh, so this is your this is your primary page this is the, the main page 
now when you're here it's a no power issue you want to go to you want to find where it says power aliases now depending on uh, the device that you're working on sometimes the number may not be the same you, you may not find power aliases uh, to be exactly on, on, on p69 however what you want to find is power aliases so that is basically the the page that will uh, uh, list out all of the power rails that are uh, that are combined on the device that you're currently working on so let us go to page 68 uh, six so we type go to and then we say 68 and then we enter now we have measure four uh, so we say that when you're starting because uh, you are starting from your charger uh, oftentimes uh, you know you will uh, you'll have a <coughs> uh, oftentimes what happens is uh, your power supply you your, your, your power supply you use it just the power supply and, um, and and your board oftentimes that is how we do it you use a power supply and the board now, because there's no power supply, you want to start from the from the very uh, beginning, so which is your PPDC in. Now, after you have confirmed that you have your PPDC in, now um, we 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 said that whenever you see that where it says G3HOT, so that means that it is always present. Yes. Now um, here we spoke about PPDC in, and then we said that uh, uh, this, for example, is going to be equal to this, and then we also mentioned that. This dot here and this dot here simply means that this signal here is equal to this and is equal to that, which is uh, which is an, which is basically what is coming from here. Now um, we also mentioned that PPDC in this reads at uh, PP one eight V five underscore DC in underscore connector, which is which says uh, which is abbreviated as CON. That is equal to PPDC in underscore J three H. Now, in other, now here we have a summary of, of this rail. So the summary of it is basically, it tells us this is uh, the net name, PPDC in and underscore G3 hot. This is the value of the net name, the voltage that we're expecting is supposed to be 18.5 volt. Now, PPDC in is going to be equal to PPDC in underscore S5 underscore charger, which is SSCHGR. Now, if we want to measure to confirm that this rail here is present, now uh, this uh, uh, the voltage is present on this rail. Now we need to we need to uh, we need to expect that we are supposed to get this value. And again, as uh, we we also mentioned that this value will be will be uh, dependent on the uh, your source of your power supply. So this value here will be, will be dependent on your, on your source of your power supply. Now, if you measure and you do not have PPDC in, then it means that there is, there is uh, th th then you have uh, a problem. Now, obviously, we also said that um, uh, before you worry, before you start to wor worry how your PPDC in is created and generated, you want to confirm that you do not have a short on the line because if you do have a short on the line, what will happen is uh, if you have a short on the line, so what will happen is uh, your voltage will basically make its way to ground, which would then mean that you will not get voltage on the line uh, that you're supposed to fi fi find voltage. Now, um, the, the 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 schematic is basically giving you, um, uh, it's, it's more like your map. Now, because without the schematic, for example, you might not be able to know, say, if we go to, um, uh, if we go to our PBDC in, for example, um, on your board view or on your physical board, you may not be able to tell um, if you are not, if you don't don't have the schematic in front of you, you may not be able to tell the the, um, the, the voltage that you're supposed to get on a particular line. Okay, so we're moving on. Now, um, now that you have confirmed that PPDC in is present, the next, the next row that you want to confirm that it is present, it's uh, PP3V3 underscore, uh, PP3, uh, PP3V42, which is 3.4 volt, uh, 3.42 volt, underscore g3h underscore reg now uh, another thing you want to do <coughs> another <coughs> another thing i will i i also usually would do is i'm uh, i kind of you you want to first of all focus on um um those rail that are uh, g3h which is the ones that are always uh, present for example like your your, your um this this rail here pp3 before two pp3 v42 underscore g3h now just like how we describe just like how we described this now you have the next name pp3 v v42 underscore g3h now what that will mean is you are supposed to get uh 3.3.42 volt on this line now how do you go about it very easy what you need to do it's in order for you to know where to measure so you the next question will be where do you measure this so uh now from here 
after you have measured to confirm that you have PPDC in, now you now want to you now want to ask yourself now, okay? So this row here, PP3V42 underscore G3H underscore reg. Now where is this going to be present? Now another thing is uh, um, so there is also an order in which these rails will, will, will uh, uh, this, this rails will appear. For example, your PPDC in must appear before your PP three V four two. Why? Because your PPDC your PP three V four two is dependent on the present of your PPDC in in order for it to be created. If you do not have PPDC in, you will not be able to create PP PP three V four two. So there is also an order in which these rails are going to be generated so also uh we will try as much as we can uh, because you need to be able to follow them in an orderly manner otherwise you may think you have an issue but then you don't have an issue the only problem uh, the, own, uh, the, 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 the 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 issue is um the issue is the rail that you you are checking for it's not in the state when it's supposed to be present the device is not in the state when when that rail is supposed to be present for example if you're measuring for so so, uh, uh, SO voltages when the device is in s5 then definitely you will get confused because you will ask yourself okay i don't have this particular rail or this voltage is not present even though the schematic says it should be present you need to be able to understand what is required in order to 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 uh to get what you are currently looking for that is number one number two is you need to be able to know what state is this rail supposed to be present or what state is this voltage supposed to be present what state is the my, my, what state should my board be in in order for the voltage that i'm looking for to be present so we will try as much as we can to also uh to also uh, uh explain how the orders are supposed to be followed so that at least when you're doing your troubleshooting you should know when a rail is supposed to be present and uh, what state uh, uh, and what is required in order for that rail to be to be present okay so after we have uh, we have checked that we have checked this now the next thing we want to do is we want to check to see if our pp3v42 is present now pp3v42 is going to be required by many other uh, section of your board <clears throat> many section of your a uh, 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 lot of the Lot, the, the uh, most of the other se uh, circuitry on your board will, will depend will, will be dependent on the presence of your PP3V42, which then means that, for example, your SMC it's it's it's, it's uh, uh, your SMC is going to depend on the the PP3V42 power rail. Now, if your SMC is not powered, then your LED uh, your system wire will not be powered, and then which then means that there will be no LED on your charger. So you you have to uh, so while following through you should be uh you should be able to understand or try as much as you can to get to know when is a particular rail supposed to be present and what do i need in order for particular rail to be to be generated okay now we know that we the next thing we want to do now we want to check to see if our pp342 is present how do we do that first thing first we need to understand that this pp3v42 underscore g3h underscore reg now we will be we what we need here is we will be needing a 3.42 volt now that now here it says here it says here that it's equal to now pp3v42 underscore g3h now the description of that the the summary of that here basically says that the voltage this is what we are interested in the voltage is 3.42 volt now that is what we are expecting to get on on our on on that power line now the next thing we now want to do the next thing we're looking at now is we see here it says pp3v3 underscore g3ht 112 pp3v3 underscore s5smc now all of these are going to be sub rails of your pp3v42 all of what you find here are going to be sub rails of pp3v42 now the next thing we are going to do is we now want to ask ourselves how uh, so two things we are going to do First of all, we wanna we are we are gonna copy this and go paste paste on our board view to see where the rail is present first. And then after we do that, should we not after we do that, then uh, we will get to see where the rail is where rail, rail is present on our board. Now, in a case where even though we see where the rail is present and what we measure, and then we find zero volt, we follow the same principle as 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 before, which is first and first we want to confirm if we have a short on that line. If you don't have a shot on that line, the next thing we want to do is we now want to go to our schematic to find out where PP3V42 is being generated from. So um, here we know 
that we are supposed to get pp3 b4 2 underscore g3h now however it doesn't it doesn't tell us here where this rel is being generated from we only have the rel and then it tells us uh, the, the sub rails of that same rail but then here we do not have where that rail is being uh, we do not know where that rail is coming from uh, because mind you even here it says equal to which would mean that there has to be something before this now in order for us to know where that rail is coming from uh first of all let us uh, first of all copy that so we have we we are going to copy copy uh pp3 v4 underscore g3 hot and then we want to go to our uh, board view to paste in order to show us where that uh, rail is present on the board so we paste and then uh, we search now here we are so now it shows us all of where pp3 v4 2 is present on the board so for example if we try let's try zoom out <clears throat> Now on uh, on U1950 we see PP boss is present on pin eight. On uh, C1950 we see PP boss is present on the pin one, which is a, uh, and then uh, here we see PP boss is present on this resistor here. Now, uh, sorry, PP342 is present. Now what that means is uh, if I now obviously in order for me to get my PP342, it means that I must have a source of power. Remember we said that. Um, your PP342 is going to be generated from your PPDC in. Your PPDC in is going to be possible with a charger being connected to the device. Now, not not necessarily a charger, but a source of power being connected to to the device. Now, what I'm not going to do, to do is I'm not I will check for the presence of my PP342 in any of these components. Uh, in any of where uh, I the 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 uh, the the better way is always when you're making your measurements uh, your black probe is going to be on ground or screw hole uh, or anything that can act as your ground and on, on the board and then your black and your and your red probe is and your red probe is what is going to be your guide now always try to to uh, use um, a section that is um, that has enough room that your 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 multimeter probe will fit into. You don't want to uh, bridge or you do not want to create a short by so for example um, if I look at my board here uh, so uh, by I may at u48 u4850 I may not be able to get to pin 10 of u48 uh, uh, u4850 to measure for my pp342 however I will be able to get to uh, uh, c4850 because there is no other component here uh, 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 this is a test pad. There is no other component here. Now this is my ground and this is uh, my 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 PP three four two uh, uh, line. So it will be safer for me to use uh, the the like of C forty eight fifty because I have enough room uh, 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 to place my 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 pro point. So it's also important. So I'm just gonna. Uh, so uh, another example. It's a. Uh, uh, let me see let me see it's it's going it's, it's another example here aha so for example here you have a capacitor and then you have a capacitor and then on the other side of that capacitor so you this this, this is not connected to this is not on your uh, on your pp3 before two line so in real time this might be too close so placing your your your, your probe here might pose a bit of a challenge and you do not want to bridge this and that sometimes this will be this part here will be on ground and then this will be the line that you want to measure so the idea is try as much as you can to make your measurements for example you can use this you can use uh, uh, this test part here because you have enough room to place your uh, 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 your probe on so the idea is try as much as you can to use um, uh, to, to, to use an area that your, your probe can easily sit now while you're also making your measurement uh when you have your black probe on ground you want to uh you, you want to locate place and then hold so basically you locate the area say you want to use this area you want to use this uh, uh, uh test pad here now you place your black probe uh your, your 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 red probe on it and then you you maintain it you you hold it just to be sure uh, um, that your voltage is not fluctuating you don't want to rush it because sometimes again if the voltage is fluctuating i mean if you if you uh, if you just place it and then you quickly move on you may not be able to, to tell if the voltage is fluctuating because you may get a situation where the, your voltage is, is is fluctuating now you want to place it and you want to hold then another thing i also i also want to mention in this regard is this now when you are making your measurements you have your black probe on ground and then your red probe 
your gaze your your eyes should be fixed on your test pad which is the component or the the the, the uh, um the test pad that you want to use or the component that you want to use that should be where your your gaze should be focused on first do not worry about your output on the multimeter after you have maintained your your uh after you have maintained you you have located and then you have placed your, your probe and then you've maintained uh, uh, uh your, your, your 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 you've maintained your hold then you can now shift your gaze to see what you're getting so do not uh do not um do not do not follow your your multimeter output uh by 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 shifting your gaze your multimeter output and then not worrying and, and not taking a, a, a note of um your your, your probe as well as uh, the test pad because when you do this you may accidentally uh you may accidentally bridge or you may accidentally cause some kind of uh, uh, issue on the board so the best thing you want to you, the, the best way is make you you want to finish one before you move on to the next now by 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 what i'm trying to say is when you place your 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 your, your, your probe on your test point or whatever component that you're using make sure that you place it firmly so that it doesn't move you see what you're doing and then after that is done done now you can move your face to your multimeter to see what it is that you are measuring give it a bit of just just be sure that your, your the voltage is not fluctuating and then you can move on now uh in an ideal situation once you measure uh say for example if i measure pp3 voltage in this area it means that uh, my my voltage is present then i move on i don't have to measure pp3 before two across everywhere on the board that it appears now in the case of your liquid damage for example you may want to um just just to be sure that the voltage is present across the board you may want to you may want to check from angle to angle say for example you check for p3 before two here it is present and then you move on to say at the edge of the board again uh, even though uh, in real sense that's not really how it's wired the fact that uh, uh, the uh, uh, the fact that well, pp342 is here and that and then the next one is here it, it doesn't really mean that if you measure pp342 here and then you measure pp342 there it means that your board line is complete no i'm just making an example so you want to at least just to just to just to be sure that you have your pp342 across the board now at least you want to measure it in it one or two uh two or three uh places across the board so you want to check maybe this side or that side and then you want to flip also to the other side of the board just to be just to be sure that you don't have a breaking line even when you do this sometimes you may still have a breaking line but at least it's safer for you and also sometimes another thing also you also if for example the particular rail is pp3 before it's 3.42 volt and then when you measure it you're getting two point something volt uh you have to understand that because here because it says uh you see where it says 3.42 volt now um you, you have to understand that you need to get uh, that the voltage that uh, um, that is being spe specified so if you don't get it if you get for example 3 volt or you get 2.9 volt then you know that you have you have an issue you want to find out why you are getting what you're getting and it's it also helpful in in a situation where you are not sure exactly what you're supposed to get uh, 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 and and sometimes also another thing although again is sometimes you may get load on the line load on the line may 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 may, may result into a drop uh in the output but then there are certain voltages that uh, regardless of what load that you have on the line um the voltage will stay the same for example 12 uh, your pp bus voltage regardless of what voltage you you, you have on uh, regardless of what load you have on your pp bus voltage uh because there is no direct load so to say uh you will get your 12.6 so uh, uh that is on your on your um on your pp on your macbook pro and, uh, and 8.6 on your macbook Air uh okay and then uh on your newer devices for example like the 1708 you will be getting 13 volt on your pp uh pp bus okay let's move on so after we have confirmed uh after we have confirmed that we have our pp342 if we find out we have pp342 fine and good but if we do not have pp342 the next thing we want to now ask ourselves is if pp342 is not present we now want to ask ourselves where is pp342 being generated from remember the first thing we did was to um to copy and then paste that 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 uh, the voltage on our on our board view now we check the board and if we find that it is present fine and good alhamdulillah now you move on but if you find that that real is not present you now want to go find out where that real is being generated on your uh, uh, on your schematic and now the way to do so is just the same way you copied that real uh, that net name to your 
to your uh, board view that is the same that the same uh, copy you will do on your or uh, uh, on, on the schematic itself so you paste you go to your your search so uh, and then you paste now here it tells us that it's found on 12 pages now what we what we now want to do is we now want to see where that rail is being generated from now so let's quickly so uh, let me do this okay so it says uh, found on on, on uh, 12 pages so what we are now going to do is we are now going to nest because we want to find out where that voltage is being generated from now on the first page here it says pch underscore power okay underscore generation now here this is this is it says equal to so which means uh this is coming from somewhere this is not where it's being generated from we want we want where it says out for example you see where it says this out now we want to see where that uh for example uh pm pm underscore pc underscore power uh, ap power okay now this this line uh, uh this signal here it's it's being generated from uh u1950 so we want to find out where that power rail which is our pp342 is being generated from how do we do that we we say we copy from uh from from uh uh, uh from from the, the the summary page and then uh, we, we we paste it on search and then we 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 net we basically move out find our way to where that real is being uh, generated from so we are going to say nest now i'm just going to go back now the reason why i say the reason why it cannot be here is because here it says equal to so this is it coming into something so sometimes now see sometimes it says it says equal to it which means for example if the if i say two plus two and then then i say equal to four now it means something made four so that's i don't know if that really makes sense but what i'm trying to say it's equal to means there has to be something before something uh there, there was something before it so this is either you will find it to be when it, it, you will find this to be in now this is where people that before to is powering a, a circuit this is not where it's being generated okay so uh, the next thing we now want to do is we uh, because we want to see where it's been generated we now want to go to nest we click on nest now on the next page what do we see we see that it still says equal to so which means it's not being generated from here now we'll move on to the next page so under here it says where it says you see where is the this page is an ss is your this is your ssd connector we now want to click to say we we'll go to nest now on our nest here it says external a usb3 connector now and here we still have equal to which means our pp342 is not being generated from here either now so let's move on to the next page uh the next page uh smc mono reset and isolation now we have pp342 is still here it still says equal to pp342 that that is not where it's being generated now here under this is the page of keyboard and trackpad and then it says one of two which means there has there's going to be another to this which is going to be two of two i mean in case you are troubleshooting your keyboard uh, and then trackpad so that is beside the point now here also this is where it's going into a connector keyboard connector pp 3 2 is going into a keyboard connector and uh, that is not what we need and here you see that it all is it also says equal to now that is not where we want to go to let's continue our search we we'll go to nest again uh, and then here it says smc reset button supervisor and um, av ref supply now this is not where we want to be this is your smc shared support and here also you see pp342 this is where it's uh this is where it's powering something that is not where it's being generated now here it says uh pp342 uh pp pp3 v3 underscore s5 underscore smc and then you have a resistor which is a a, a, a zero ohm resistor uh, and then you have pp342 on, 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 on that side now still this is not where our pp342 is generated we are interested in where our pp342 is being generated so we go to nest now we click on nest now here we have a whole effect pads now this is not so part of on this rail here you will have a pp pp342 is part of the line here which is uh, which is your whole uh, uh your your uh, which is your all effect pads uh, uh pads line we are uh, pp342 is still not being gener generated from here uh we move on so we are looking for 
here where it's been generated here you will see it say it says you see where it says equal to it means that is not where it's been generated so we want to continue <clears throat> we go to next now here it says uh, we have our max save dc power jack and then we have pp3 v2 as as one of uh, our, uh, uh, the line here um uh, this is a logic gate, and then we have our PP342 as as part of uh, as part of the the the, the, the voltage that is required by that logic gate to function. Now here still it says equal to, which means this is not where our PP342 is being generated. Remember our search for is where PP342 is being generated, and finally we have come to the end of our search. Now where it says 3.42. Uh, 3.425 volt GTH power supply. Now here, what is here? It says so. This is where you would now. What here it tells us that U1790 is what generates. Uh, is what supplies our 3.42 volt. Now, uh, so here, if we look at, so, uh, we are going to stop here. Now here. This the inductor is going to be uh, the end of the circuit. The inductor is going to be the end of the circuit, and then the inductor here it says where you see where it says V out, voltage out, three point forty two volt, and here it says three point forty two three point four two five volt G three power supply. Now this is where the rail is being uh, generated from. Now the next question we are going to now ask ourselves is how is it generated? How is this supposed? How is this circuitry supposed to work? Now. You see all of uh, uh, from this point here, from this inductor here. You see where it says your V out. So which means, for example, um, the completion of this circuitry is going to be at the at this inductor, which is L seventy ninety five. Now, for example, what we want to do um, is uh, um, uh, we let's assume that we did not copy our PP three four two the net name to search. We can easily just copy our L seventy ninety uh, L seventeen ninety five. Sorry. And then we go to our board view and then paste it to give us an idea to, to, so we can see and then we can just easily measure pp 3 v 42 on that inductor so l7090 is going to be an inductor here this is our l7090 and that is the completion of the circuit of, of your pp 3 v 42 uh, generation uh, circuitry now so what i'm trying to say is in a situation in in a case where we did not we did not copy the entire net name to paste on our board view we can easily just copy uh the the uh, uh the 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 final uh, we can easily copy uh the the net we can easily copy uh the the inductor name which is uh, l1790 and that is the the last stop of this is the completion of your pp342 circuit so we can copy that and then we go and and, and then we come here uh, we'll come to our board view to see if we have pp342 now if we have pp342 here but then we don't have it in other section of the board it means that uh, we have a breaking line but that now the breaking line that that does that means that the voltage itself it's been generated so let's go back now it means uh, if we have PP3V42, let's, let me see. So if we have PP3V42 at L1795, now this is an inductor, which would mean that if you have PP3, whatever you have on pin one is, you definitely have that on on pin two. Now if we come to, if we measure uh, at L1790 and then we have PP3V42, it means that uh, U1790 is doing its job. Then it means that we don't have a problem with with PP3V42 being generated. Now the problem we if 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 we had measured a different section of the board where we're supposed to find pp342 and pp342 is not present there which is why we were searching to find out why but then now when we measure at l1790 we find that pp342 is present it means that um, u1790 is doing its job and pp342 is not missing however we may have a situation of a broken line we now now that, that's where we cannot use our continuity uh, we can now use our switch our multimeter to continuity mode to find out where that line is broken and then we can use a wire to uh, uh to bridge the gap that is broken now now that we are here so uh just 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 to recap so what i say it's you see how we had to search 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 in order to find to to, to find where pp3 photo is being generated and here we say see where it says, it says supplies needs to guarantee 3.31 volt to deliver to smc uh, voltage uh, ref generator now that's fine now um so here we are just going to look at uh, the quick uh 
how do we get uh, our pp342 let's assume that pp342 now we know that this is where it's getting the return and this is the end of the the, the the circuit and this is the beginning of the circuit now pp342 has two inputs it has now either either it gets uh, uh, um, you have input from the charger and then you have input from from the battery now pp bus now your battery constantly supplies pp bus voltage basically pp bus voltage will uh, uh, will uh your battery will constantly put out pp bus voltage now here it says pp bus is uh 18.5 volt that's not correct uh it's not supposed to be 18.5 volt it's a uh, it's a mag it's a macbook pro your pp bus the voltage here uh it's if it's coming from the battery it is the the pp bus voltage is going to be 8.12.6 uh, not 18.5 volt now ppdc in voltage however yes it can be 18.5 volt depending on the, your, your power supply now uh this is a diode with uh this is a diode with two separate uh, uh input now uh, you can either if you have your charger you have your ppd voltage going now when you when you come here when you are here and then let's assume you do not have ppd before too the next thing you want to do is you want to you want to so now you want to now uh analyze the circuit now how is this supposed how is ppd before is supposed to be generated the first thing you want to do is you want to see what the voltage that is coming into that uh, uh that that chip which is that ic now v in now we know we're supposed to get voltage on your v in you now trace back where is my voltage from v in going to come from it's going to come from this line here yes and then that line is that line that is going to be made possible by your uh, by this diode here now that diode has a dual uh, 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 input so it can either be from a charger or from a batch so whatever power source that you have you're supposed to have and now this uh, uh, um, the u1790 can work even as low as when you're getting <coughs> Uh, even if you do not have uh, up to say for example this is 18.5 now uh, 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 let's say you have less than that uh, let's say um, let's say instead of your 16.5 volt you have about 14 point something but pp342 is still going to be generated pp342 is not going to be uh, so okay let's not let's 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 not bring that in now now what you want to do is you want to confirm that you have your v in now your v in has to be at least close to um what you see here as your voltage now please do not get confused like i said now this is it's assuming that you are using your your, your charger and not your pp bus um, I, I mean I, I believe all of this up until this point we are using our charger to do uh to do the the, the troubleshooting now you want to confirm that you have your ppdc in yes which is uh, uh, uh sorry you want to confirm that you have your voltage in, in onto that chip in order for the chip to uh, uh, uh to to actually function now uh if you, you check that that is present and then you this, this is a shutdown pin as well you check uh, uh so ppv in uh ppv in uh, uh will go through a resistor uh which would now uh here it says and uh, it, it says uh, no stuff um so and no stuff so which means uh, that it's not going to be populated so <clears throat> you make sure you confirm that you have your voltage in basically and then another very good way of doing this is to make sure you observe the uh, uh the surrounding of u 1790 to make sure that there is nothing i'm not going to go uh too much of in in depth here so um when you find yourself here pp340 is not is not present you want to see how is pp340 being generated now you want to look around the voltage that is coming in and what is expected to to go out now uh if you if if you if you if um um if the voltage uh, uh if you have your v if you have the voltage that is required to go into the into the chip if it's present and if that chip happens to have an enables uh, enable pin which is going to be basically like uh the, the on switch you also want to see if that on uh, if that if if uh, uh if that value or if that voltage is present or if that signal is present and then uh if if that is present and you still do not have your output obviously i believe you must have checked to see that you don't have a short on the output uh, which is important because if you have a short here then you will not uh, uh the, the chip will not be able to put out the output and then obviously you want to check your you want to check to make sure that your feedback pin it's uh it's it's, it's solid because basically your feedback pin is it's it's more like uh your uh, um it, it is a way of allowing the chip to uh to get an idea what is happening um at, at, at its output pin 
for example so if you have a short on your on, on your output it's the feedback pin that will detect that okay there is a short here if you have a problem and it's uh, so your feedback pin is basically um just an example of your feedback pin is like somebody who is driving and it, and their eyes is closed so what will happen is uh, you will see that the person uh, when you're driving and your eyes is closed uh, or you're closing your eyes, what you want to do is you want to stop, make sure you can, you have vision, you can see before you continue. So your feedback pin, basically your feedback line, it's doing the, 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 uh, is doing uh, the work of the eyes for that chip, basically. Now, if the chip, the chip want to be able to see, to, f to, to get feedback on what, what is happening on the line uh, at the output, which is why you see that the feedback is connected so you have uh, here fb feedback you see the pin so you see p3 vote underscore fb and then it's, it, it goes all the way to it's connected to the output now if if um if the, there is a breaking line here so what will naturally happen is they will, that the chip will stop putting out 3.42 volt because the chip is unable to determine what is happening at the end of its the it's at the end of uh, the secretary so after you have confirmed that um your your after you have confirmed that you don't have your voltage are present and you don't have a breaking line then if all conditions required for u7090 to put out pp342 and it still doesn't put out pp342 and you don't have a short that is when you can now blame u7090 and now you, that is when you can now uh, uh replace it now th that is um that's a very that's a very uh 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 minimal way of describing how a secretary should work because um, there may be other conditions that are required uh, there may be other conditions that you will find yourself in i want you to push a secretary like this one but uh, as we say right now we're trying to go through the basics so um, we are obviously going to uh, because we are only doing uh, explanations here it would actually make sense if we if we have a scenario that you're working on but then it might not be practical for us to have a scenario at every page that we are trying to explain or uh, at this at this very uh, stage where we are trying to do uh, it's more like an introduction at the moment okay so basically that uh, so that is where we are going to stop uh, and then uh, we'll, on the next video uh, we try as much as we can not to make it too lengthy so that uh, it doesn't lose its purpose now uh, let's just do a quick recap <clears throat> how did we get here um, we 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 measure for pp342 and then we say you copy the next name pp342 you go to your board view to paste it and then you check to see if that well if that voltage is present on your across your board if it's not present across your board you want to now copy and then paste that same net name a pp342 you want to paste it on your search on your uh, 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 on your schematic which is what we did here you want to search and then here you see that we pp342 was found was found on four pages what we did was we wanted we search because we went through all of the pages to see where pp342 it's been generated or is being uh, 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 created so we did not uh, let's go back uh, let's go back let's go back back so all of the time let's see so all of the time we were we were going to nest we only wanted to see where it's being generated uh, which is here so now we confirm that this and then the reason why this is equal to is because the real is not directly so this capacitor here is, is and by, by the way another easy way you can confirm where it's coming from is where you see reg so uh, let's see uh, regulator so your reg will be your regulator but then um, that might also confuse you guys further so now the inductor here is going to be uh, the end, uh, the end of uh, uh, the circuit in terms of U1790. So you see where here it says V out, that is where, where it's being uh, generated from. And then here it says equal to because the real is already being generated from here. And then uh, uh, um, C1710 is only on the output of your, uh, of, of uh, the what has been generated from L1795. And then we also said that instead of uh, measure, instead of having to copy the entire net, uh, this net name to your board view, you can easily copy L1790, uh, which is the end, which is going to be, which is the end of uh, the, sec the, the, the secretary of a U1790. You can copy that and go straight to paste on your, on your board view and, uh, and, and then measure at your l1790 and we say that if it is present if it is not present before you do any retribution and make sure you do not have a shot on that line okay guys i uh, hope you guys uh, uh, 
I hope you guys find benefit in this. Uh, inshallah, we are going to stop here, and then uh, uh, we will continue from uh, from here uh, next time. Thank you, guys. I will see you guys in the next one.